We got cameras, glasses, knives, coke, water, food, all the survival things. Never leave home without it. You guys got your stretch? You guys got your stretch figured? I did. That's important. I need food. You see the fish? It's a little, little, little bird. Where is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that there it goes. Oh, what is that? You have to learn how to speak snarkalese. Did you get that two trout one to two dead? Oh, we got a trolder! Trolder! Another rock trout! Another rock trout! Okay, so it's done. Done. Two rock trout over a hundred. Two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a Great. For the next 50 years, this creek should be reconnected to the Bitterroot. This is such a great project. We're really hoping to replicate it. It's great to see projects that succeed like yep. this. Yeah, because I mean, for, what, for 80 years, Jed, there were no trout in this thing. And then now to come in and see hundreds of fish, it's, it's pretty neat. It's super exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the Bitterroot needs, needs factories like this. I mean, it's one of the most important fisheries in the state. Um, provides close to, I think they estimated between 30 and 50 million dollars in economic benefit just from fishing alone in the Bitterroot. And like, we need more creeks like this connected to be able to provide for that fishery for folks. And so it means that if we can continue to the restoration these tributaries, which are the lifeblood of the river, the rearing area, their cold water refuge in the hot summers that we seem to have almost every year now, it means that the Bitterroot River, especially this part of it, could become even a much better fishery.